Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple a API, simple API using API Gateway, AWS Lambda, and SNS. So this will be a very simple API. So let's just get into it. But before that, let the intro roll. All right, so as you can see, I'm in my AWS console. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to API Gateway. And I'll create my first API. So it will be a REST API. So you can, I mean, so I'm not going into the details of API Gateway, probably will do a course on API Gateway, then I'll tell you more things. But for now, let's just click build. <clears throat> okay, let's just okay this and go to new API. You can give any name. So I'll just say user info. So this is what my API is going to be about. So what I'm going to do is basically this will be a post API. In this, I'm going to post some data like user information, like username, can be contact number, address, and things like that. And I'll just take that information in my Lambda function and send it to uh, SNS topic, which will send me the mail with all those details. All right, makes sense. Cool. For the info, let's do the same thing. User info and endpoint type, we'll leave it regional and we'll do create API. All right, come to this and let's say create resource so i don't want to put everything on my root i would create a resource name user and let's create so the api would be slash user right and now let's define some methods so method so this is will be a post api so we'll do a post And in the integration type, we'll leave it for Lambda function because this is what we are going to integrate it with the Lambda function. But as you can see, I mean, there's no Lambda function which pops out here. I mean, if we create a Lambda function, it will be auto populated over here. But since we don't have any Lambda function yet, we don't have anything here. So we we'll leave it as is. And now we'll go to our Lambda. All right, so we don't have any Lambda function, so let's create one. We'll create it from scratch and we'll name it get user info. And it will be a Python, so I know Python only. If you know any other language, feel free to use that. Uh, for execution role, let's just come down and we are going to IAM and create a role as well. So for now, let's just create This will take a couple of minutes. So, all right, it's created. So let's first create our IAM roles, which I want for this Lambda function. Go to roles and let's create role. And it will be Lambda next. And I'll SNS, let's let's give it give it SNS full access. So I'm giving it, giving it SNS full access because this will be publishing to as an SNS topic, right? So that's why I'm giving it SNS full access. So review user info role. And let's create. Now again, let's go back to our Lambda. <clears throat> go to action, or rather go down somewhere over here where we define our um, where 
is it okay am i missing something details permissions all right where are you man it's frustrating to find it i think it's in configuration i know it's there in configuration designer so just able, not able to find that place where it is let's edit that no it's not there all right let me just pause the video and come back yeah it's there in the basic setting which i was not able to get so let's set our role and save this so now our lambda function has our get user info role and let's get rid of all this stuff right so now we need to basically decide what kind of event we are going to publish from our a api so i'll be sending three information like username uh, contact number and maybe email id yeah those three things so let's set those so username i'm going to set three variables will be events username let's say email equal to events email and the last would be contact equal to events contact all right, so now we have these three informations. Uh, let's import Boto3 because that's what we are going to use to make a call to an SNS, right? And <clears throat> so before we do that, right? All right, so let's just write the logic over here and then we can So let's have SNS is equal to Bodo three dot client SNS, right? And now SNS dot publish. I believe this is the method. We'll double check. And I think it takes two uh, input. Let me just double check this, and I'll come back yeah so it takes two um, inputs basically two parameters so i've just copied those and let me just fix the indentation all right so for our arn we'll just leave it for now so we have not created the sns topic and for the email so let's say hello user username then we'll say your space it email id is it's a very basic api you must have guessed by now email plus your contact number is contact so this is the message which we are publishing let's set it to response equal to and at the end let's just return response so we'll see what it returned in our api gateway output in the logs basically all right so this looks good let's deploy this deployment is successful now let's go to our sns
let's create a topic let's name it user info user info and let's just create so we are not putting any encryption or anything and let's create a subscription just hold on guys sorry guys that was my mom so yeah continuing so let's create a subscription all right so it will be an email subscription i'll give my email id you can only on any time reach out to me on this email id so this is there in my youtube channel also right let's create this so i'll go and confirm the subscription and come back again so you can see the status is pending confirmation so let's confirm this all right so our status is confirmed now let's go back to our api gateway so we need to add the integration so if you remember we didn't add the integration right so let's go go to this and now if you So get user info this is our lambda function and let's save this and this will basically you are about to give api gateway permission to invoke lambda function just say okay all right i think we are all set okay so we are set no 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 we are not set we i think forgot one thing so let's go to sns Go to topic and let's get this ARN. So if you remember, we left the ARN blank in our Lambda function. So let's copy this and go to Lambda. And come over here and put this ARN. So now this is complete. Let's deploy this. All right, so it's deployed. We can go back to our API gateway. All right, let's go into this. <clears throat> and first, what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to deploy my API. Stage will be new stage. Stage name would be say test test and test let's deploy this so it's deployed All right now we can test it <laughs> okay so i'm just looking for the url all right so this is the url so let's copy this and I'm going to bring in Postman and we are going to make a call from Postman and see what happens. All right, so this is my Postman. Let's paste the API URL. It's a post API. Let's go to body. It will be raw JSON. Headers, I think, do we need to put headers? Let's, let's see. So, body would be raw JSON. Yeah, as soon as you do raw JSON, I think headers get updated automatically. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. All right, so now let's simply create a JSON file. So, the three things which we need to pass was username so I'll say Tarik123 is my username. Next was email. <coughs> so my email ID, I would say random email at gmail.com. And the last thing was the contact number. So it was just contact, I believe. And I would say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or whatever. Cool. So yeah, this is my 
request and now let's send it so you can see i got a response code of 200 so this and you hear the ting behind the scene so that's the email which came so now let's go to my email so where is my email here it is and you can see a user info email aws notification hello user tarik123 your email id is da, 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 da. your contact number is da, 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 da. cool so this is our simple api using api gateway and aws lambda i hope you like the video guys please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching